Hey guys, this is Steve from Trim That Weed, and today we're going to discuss whether raking grass can help it grow. This video will also explore what raking is, the kind of rake you should use on your lawn, and some tips on grass raking. So, stick around for that. What is grass raking? Before we discuss whether raking can help the grass grow, it's important to define this term. Raking is the process of gathering grass from the ground with a tool known as a rake. This tool can smooth the surface and even help you gather hay on the ground. If your property is full of discolored leaves, you should consider raking it. Allowing the leaves to cover most grass can negatively affect the lawn's health. This will also make the lawn appear dull. Getting a rake can help you reverse this and maintain a neat looking lawn. Early spring raking helps get rid of thatch and any harmful weeds. Once you break the grass, use them as mulch for landscaping. You can also use the leaves as compost for your garden. So, can raking the grass help it grow? Though some people believe that raking the grass can stimulate growth, this is not always the case. When you rake the grass, you can eliminate any debris hindering the conditions required for growth. Raking the grass when it's not completely dead can actually help eliminate dead grass, which can clog up the soil and affect the grass beneath it. When you leave a lot of brown grass on the lawn, it can affect the rest of the healthy grass in it. This is because the soil will not get sufficient sunlight, nutrients, and the water that it requires. This can make your yard a breeding ground for fungi and insects. Raking the grass can help the healthy grass receive direct sunlight and allow the soil to breathe. If all the grass in your lawn is entirely dead, raking it will not stimulate growth, especially if the grass is dead down to the roots. Is the grass on your property completely dead? If so, you can rake it to remove any dead clumps, then consider reseeding. Choosing the right rake for your lawn. Now that you understand how raking affects grass, you're probably wondering which rake is the best one to use. Rakes come in different types that you can pick from. Some include a scrub rake, metal rake, a plastic rake, thatch rake, and garden rake. If you notice a lot of brown leaves in a large yard, you'd like to cover most of the ground in less time, you can choose a plastic leaf rake. Many homeowners choose this type since it's easy to use. You should consider getting a metal rake if you have demanding raking tasks. This can help you get rid of dried clumps of grass and scrubs. On the other hand, you can use a thatch rake to get rid of accumulated debris that tends to build up on turf grass. If you choose this type, go for an adjustable thatch rake since that can boost comfort during raking. You may also come across a garden rake as you look for one. This is specifically designed for moving soil in a garden before planting seeds. Tips on how to grass rake. If you're planning to rake your lawn, you should do this immediately after winter. Raking is very important, especially if you stay in an area that experiences heavy snowfall. Some homeowners also prefer to rake their lawn in the spring to eliminate winter debris. As you rake the grass, be careful not to overdo it. This is because it's easy to damage the grass roots in spring. You should only rake the lawn in spring if compaction is present. Ensure that you use a plastic rake during spring so it won't scarify the soil. As you rake the dead areas, you should avoid removing all of the grass on the lawn. Ensure that you don't leave behind any clumps on the lawn after raking. If you rake during spring, watch out for lawn diseases such as snow mold. In this case, you may notice blades of grass on your lawn that are stuck together. Since new grass can struggle to penetrate such patches, raking the grass can help solve this issue. If you're planning to rake your lawn in spring, you should hold off on fertilizing it for a while. So, there you have it. Remember that raking can only help the grass grow if it's not entirely dead. Do you have any questions or comments on grass raking? Feel free to drop them below and like this video if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Bye!